I'm running out of creative ways to start these videos, so let's just get started. <laughs> Oh, the sun is starting to poke through a little. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing my Christmas haul. Now this is not something that I normally do or haven't really done like in the past. Uh, I did last year and it was specifically just because people were asking me in the comments and stuff. And I did get a few comments this year as well. Like, are you doing it again this year and stuff? And I decided, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because people are asking for it. Um, I think the hang up that I've had with doing it in the past is I never wanted to come across like bragging or being like, look what I got, because I know that there are people that are way less fortunate than I am, and I never want to come across like that or being insensitive or anything like that. But people have asked for it, so like, I'm just gonna do it. Also, a lot of times these things, I'm like excited to show you them, even though I'm not ready to film a full video on it just yet for one reason or another. So like doing a haul video like this makes it a lot easier. Anyway, I didn't even really want to make that a big thing. I just wanted to get that disclaimer out of the way. Um, um, so yeah, I am doing a Christmas haul, so I'm going to be showing you everything that I got for Christmas this year. Uh, well, okay, I'm not going to show you absolutely everything because I got a lot of little things and stuff. I'm mainly just going to have in this video things that I thought would be interesting to show or to talk about. Uh, just because there's like some stuff that's like I don't even have in my room right now. Like it's in the refrigerator because it's like my aunt made homemade fudge and my sister-in-law made like... Uh, what do they, what do you call it? Like bark, Christmas bark, where it's like, um, or Christmas crackle or whatever. It's like butterscotch or no, I don't, I don't even know what it is. Like peanut brittle kind of stuff. Um, she made homemade. I, it's not peanut brittle, but it's, it's that kind of thing. And then there was a few other things that I got. I, I'm, I'm not going to include absolutely everything. I just wanted to keep it to like mostly doll related stuff, but I am going to start off with a few things that are not doll related and then we'll move into the dolls. I'm not going to be showing everything I got in my advent calendar videos just because I've already shown those in the advent calendar videos. So if you want to see everything that I got in those, I did make a full playlist, which I'll link down below if you want to see this year's advent calendar videos where I did the 24 days of Christmas. Also, um, I did already do a few like opening my Christmas present videos where I got this um, Tinkerbell uh, Disney Store holiday doll and the Monster High holiday Draculaura. And um, I already have videos for both of these on my channel. If you want to see these videos, then you know you can go check those out. Um, I'll try and remember to do the little um, iCard thing up there. Um, it doesn't always let me do two back to back. So like the first one will probably be like the Draculaura one. And then a few seconds later, you'll see the one for Tinkerbell pop up. And then lastly, I also did get this um, Christmas Barbie from my supervisor from work where it was this, this Barbie, but in this dress. Um, I also have a video for this on my channel. So if you wanna see that, you can go check that out as well. I just put this dress on my um, Hollywood hair Barbie for now. And then in that video, I did get this pop figure. I don't remember if I showed it or not in that video, um, but I she also got me along with that Christmas Barbie, this uh, Cheshire Cat Funko Pop figure. So that, um, because I like Alice in Wonderland, this is gonna go great for my Alice in Wonderland collection. All right, now that all of the disclaimers are out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the actual haul. So starting off with non-doll related stuff, this is the first thing I got. <laughs> it's a big old blanket. <laughs> so last year, if you saw my haul, um, my parents got me a very, very plush robe and I still have it. It's actually over on my bed right now, but um, it's just, it's, it's very warm and stuff like that. And I didn't really need that much warmth at the moment. Um, but this year they got me a blanket. This is even more plush than the robe. Uh, if you can believe it, it, I mean, you can kind of see like the kind of fabric it is. It's this plush material. It is so soft, so smooth. Um, I love it. I love this kind of fabric and it's so cozy, but it's also thin. So it's going to be easy to wash and 
and it's huge. It's like a king size. So I can like really wrap up in this. And I like to like wrap up and read a book. I'm like one of those people that I, I have, when it's cold outside, I have the window open, but then I wrap up in a blanket to keep warm. And then I like read a book or play video games. That I'm just that. <laughs> And then other people don't like that because then they're like, we have the heater on, close your window. <laughs> anyway, so, okay, moving on. The next thing that my parents got me was a box. No, <laughs> um, they got me a clock. So I, oh, you can't see it, but <laughs> I'm not going to bother. But anyway, I have a clock up there. Uh, it stopped working and I don't know why, but I've tried replacing the batteries uh, a couple times. And at first I thought maybe I put a dead battery in it. And then the second time I didn't pay attention to it for a while and I didn't realize it was not working anymore so I didn't know if I just waited too long and that battery died too or what anyway um recently like literally just last week uh I happened to change the battery I'm like let me give it one more chance and it didn't even last a full day like it, it I put the battery in initially it was working for the first couple hours and then it just stopped working I'm like okay yep I need a new clock and um I think I had also mentioned that I my clock was giving me issues so my mom knew about it and she got me a, a Mickey Mouse clock that's like the shape of Mickey's head so this is really cool it's made of metal so I feel like I could probably put magnets up here if I wanted to um, which would be interesting it doesn't have numbers I mean that's not like a huge issue but it's a black clock with with gray dots on it so I'm thinking maybe what I'll end up doing is like painting in some kind of glow-in-the-dark paint or something thing uh, like get a stencil so they all look nice but like painting the numbers on uh, or just painting the dots themselves to be slightly lighter so I can see it a little easier um, up there but it's gonna go up above my TV up there but yeah this is so cool I love this okay so next up for non doll related stuff I got a graphic novel from the Heroes of Olympus series so my grandma takes me shopping because she doesn't know what to get me for Christmas <laughs> um, I feel like it's pretty I'm pretty easy easy for the most part because there's a lot of stuff that I like like there's a lot of interests that I have um, but she she doesn't care she wants me to pick out my own Christmas present <laughs> so and we always go Christmas shopping like the week before Christmas or something like that and um, we go to Grass Valley because they have it's like an like an older historic town kind of and they have a lot of really great shops in there including my favorite bookstore uh which is literally just called the bookstore i think <laughs> i think i don't remember exactly what the name of the bookstore is now that i'm thinking about it but anyway that's where i've gotten a few signed copies of rick riordan's books because he goes to that store or has gone to that store several times for different like promotional things and stuff so i've uh, i've gotten some signed copies of my favorite books and everything but anyway i love that bookstore i just really it's really cozy it's really adorable the kids section is completely has its own separate like downstairs area and when you go downstairs it looks like a cave and it's just all done up there's like a harry potter corner and they have like the house banners and they have like keys hanging from the ceiling with like little wings added to them and stuff and like i don't know and and like they have like the percy jackson section and they have I don't know it's just a really really cool bookstore and I really really like it um, anyway we always go there and she um, has me pick out a book to get in the past couple years I've been getting these graphic novels of the book series so like the different Percy Jackson books and the Kane Chronicles books and now the um, Heroes of Olympus so this is book one for Heroes of Olympus the lost hero if you have not read these this book series I highly recommend it first of all um just because they're amazing but these are the graphic novels and obviously if you if you don't know what a graphic novel is it is basically like a comic book version of the book and obviously i've read all the books but the reason i like these is because i can see like a visual representation of what they're describing in the book and then i realize sometimes i didn't picture it right in my head um or something like you know it's it's kind of cool when i'm going through and i'm like oh wow that's exactly what i thought it looked like in in because the, there's not a, a movie version of these so it you know they're only books as of right now as of right now 
Hopefully. Put it out in the universe. Hopefully they make movies or a series. They're doing the Percy Jackson series for Disney+. Plus. Hopefully it extends and keeps going through the whole series and up to Heroes of Olympus. I'm, you know, keeping my fingers crossed. Gotta manifest. Next up from one of my best friends, Cassie. She got me one of the new Hollow Taco collections. I don't know... I don't know if this is the winter collection this year or if this was released before the, this. I don't remember what order the most recent collections were for Holo Taco. Forgive me. But this is the um, Holo Taco Magnetic collection and I love the box like this can the camera doesn't pick it up it's not really doing it justice with the lighting that I have um, I think anytime you want to show any hollow taco product you have to use your phone's flashlight just because oh there it is you can see the rainbow happening the box is holographic and it's got all these colors and sparkles on it and yeah, so you need to have the right kind of lighting to show it off. But anyway, this is the Magnetic Collection, and hopefully these don't fall out. But anyway, it came with the five colors, um, and basically, I've got them on my nails, but once again, it, this camera's not going to be able to pick it up very nice in this lighting. Um, I don't know if... Well, you can get... I have a, a hollow talk taco topper over it. Anyway, these are the, the magnetic collection. So if you follow Hollow Taco or Christine from Simply Neological, you've probably seen these. It comes with a magnet, which is not in the box. It's over there because I used it. Um, but it comes with a little magnet. You paint the nails and while the nails are still wet, you hold the magnet over it and it creates this really cool line. And then it's like dark on one side and then like lighter on the other. And it's just really, really cool and has this cool color shift. Yeah, so I did not already have this and um, Cassie knew that I like uh, Hollow Taco. We both do. She collects it as well. And I've got, I don't know if you can see it back here, but I've got my, my Hollow Taco collection is back there. I don't have every single Hollow, uh, mm, what? <laughs> I don't have every single Hollow Taco nail polish that's available, but um, those are the ones that I have. And now I have this. I've run out of space. I need to get another one of those little risers to put my nail polish collection on uh, now that it's expanded. But yeah, that's where I'm at with that. All right. So this is the last non-doll related thing. It's still a figure, still a toy. So it's kind of in the realm, but um, I I got now okay if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw this already but um, I got this from five below no not five below where did I get this from I was shopping at that's cheap there's a store called that's cheap and I had seen it people have talked about it and I was like you know what I'm, I'm out shopping right now let me check it out oh and I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video but obviously in this haul some things I got as gifts from other people and some stuff I did buy for myself so just know that that's a thing anyway so I was at That's Cheap and I saw this on the shelf. Now this is normally, I wanna say like $20. I don't think there's a price tag on it. Normally it's like $20 at Target and that's where I saw it first was at Target a few months ago. And I, w I wanted to get it because I love Articuno. I actually have a special co connection with this Pokemon because this Pokemon is one of the Pokemon that started my friendship with my absolute best friend Ed when we were in high school we met because of Pokemon there was and I've told this story before in like older videos but basically the reason that we met is because we both had a sixth period drama class together where you know we were doing plays and you know stuff like that uh, doing theater basically and in that one of the assignments that we had was we had to make a mask and we both made Pokemon masks. I made a Bulbasaur mask, he made a Zapdos mask. And because of that, we started talking and realized we were both into Pokemon cards. We were just getting into them. This is like back in the like very end of the 90s, right? Like at the beginning of the 2000s. And I'm aging myself, but anyway. <laughs> and we were both into Pokemon cards. We were just getting into it because they had just kind of come out like a year or two before. And at that time, one of the cards that I didn't have but I wanted was Articuno. And it had just come out, like it was the fossil set that had just come out. And 
I really wanted one and he had it and uh, you know we were trading and it was the first card that we traded and I actually still have that card Ed I don't know if you're watching this but I still have that card you traded to me and I won't sell it or trade it because it's the first card that I got from my best friend so because of that I love Articuno and because this is an articulated figure I love this so much I thought it was so cool so um, I had to have it and it was I, I forgot to mention it was five dollars so normally twenty dollars at target at that's cheap it was only five dollars and i had to fight every urge in my body to not scream out that's cheap when i saw it <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, when I first walked in, a lot of the stuff I saw wasn't super cheap. It wasn't marked down by a lot. Like, it was pretty close to retail. It was just marked down a little. And I was like, okay, this store shouldn't be called That's Cheap. This store should just be called That's Affordable or <laughs> That's Reasonably Priced. <laughs> but I don't think that would be as catchy of a title or name for a store to bring you in. Um, so, anyway, when I walked over the other side of the store, everything over there was actually marked down to really good prices. And there was another thing in here that I'll show you in a little bit that I got uh, that was also really cheap. But yeah, this was a really cheap price and it was a great thing. Um, they do have a few others. You could end up getting Charizard, Rayquaza, and what's this one's name? Greninja. Uh, is that how you say it? Yeah, Greninja. Anyway, so in this collection, there's those four characters. Uh, it would be cool to have Charizard. I'd love to have Charizard because I do like Charizard. Um, I have no connection to Rayqu Rayquaza or Greninja, so I take it or leave it. Um, but Articuno was one that I really, really wanted. And I was tempted to pay full price for, but I got it for $5, so I didn't have to. <laughs> okay, so now we're kind of moving into the doll-related stuff. Well, doll and pony-related stuff, because I did get some ponies. Um, speaking of which, next up, let me show you some of the stuff that I got from eBay before I get to, like, the new in-box dolls. Um, so I actually got a couple things from eBay. Uh, they are both ponies. Let me go ahead and open these really quick so I can show you. Now, I don't know what pony is in which container, because... I bought these around the same time and uh, they arrived around the same time. I do have a third one coming in, but unfortunately it didn't get here before Christmas. That's why it's not going to be in this haul. Uh, that and I haven't received it yet at all. <laughs> so let me just go ahead and open these up really quick. Oh, <laughs> inside this package is another package. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like I'm doing the advent calendars all over again. <laughs> Opening up. Oh, okay. So, now, I don't remember these ponies' names. I probably should look it up. Actually, let me look it up really quick. All right, so this is up up and away from the twice as fancy collection um this one says it's from 1987 so they have like the uh, well you can't really see it but it's like engraved on the bottom of their hoof but anyway so yeah i've been collecting a lot of the vintage my little ponies uh because like i'm not a huge fan although i did get some g5 ponies so i will show you that but i'm not a huge fan of the generation 5 of my little pony <laughs> Um, but I am a huge fan of the G1 and G3 style ponies. So especially G1. It's just super nostalgic. And they were my absolute favorite toy when I was a kid. Like, number one, I was like I was a, a pony collector before I was a doll collector. So I will always love my little pony. And um, I'm I've kind of been slowing down on collecting newer dolls, but I have definitely not slowed down on my search for um, the vintage My Little Ponies. I don't really have to slow down for these because, <laughs> because they're hard to find at a good price. And a lot of times when you look um, online, they are at a higher price. But this is from the Twice as Fancy collection. So they have their cutie mark all over their body. And I remember they weren't called cutie marks until generation four. Uh, that was a new term, but it's been kind of like retroactively applied to the older ponies now as well. I remember when I was a kid, there wasn't a name for it. So we just called it their symbol. <laughs> um, but anyway, now I can't tell if this pony's hair has been cut. It does look a little short, but it it looks fine to me. It's not short enough to for me to like warrant needing to rehair it, and it's in pretty good condition. I'm still going to be um, cleaning all of any pony that I get from eBay, especially secondhand. I always clean it because I don't know if it came from a 
you know, a household where this was a childhood toy or if it came from a collector that kept it clean and nice. I don't know. So I just always like to wash them and everything regardless whenever I get a new pony. So let me go ahead and just put this one back in here for now. And let's open the other one. That's what happens when you get too excited about something. <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's all bubble wrapped and everything. Oh, she's so pretty. And she's in really good condition too. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Okay, so this is Scoops. And Scoops is also from the Twice as Fancy uh, line that came out and uh, also 1987. So these, these two might have come from the same collection or the same release. I'm not sure because they're both in 1987. Sometimes they'll release something at the beginning of a year and then another set separately at the end of the year. So that's why I'm saying that I'm not 100% sure. Um, it looks like she might have had a little bit of a haircut back here. Um, some of the hair is just slightly shorter than the rest but honestly like once again not enough for me to worry about needing to uh rehair the the pony or anything like that there is like one plug one hair plug missing but um she still looks really good so i'm not gonna bother uh redoing her hair because it's in really good condition so honestly like my my rule of thumb when like looking at ponies online is if it if the pony itself is fifteen dollars or less especially if that's including shipping uh, then it's a good deal uh, depending on the condition like as long as they're in a good condition then fifteen dollars or less and i'm interested so and if it's a pony that i don't have i don't really collect duplicates for these kind of vintage ponies but um, i try and get the best quality that i or you know best condition that i can find um because i'm you know i'm really trying to um up my 1980s <laughs> 1980s through 90s vintage pony collection but all right let me go ahead and put that away all right so next up from ebay i got two barbies i got a working out barbie and a working out teresa um i actually ordered the when did i order these i don't know i ordered these a few months ago i think it was in september possibly um or maybe it was October. Anyway, and they just came in a little later on. Uh, it probably was just from where they were coming from or possibly the seller was like away at the time or something, I don't know. But anyway, um, I got these from two different sellers and the first one I ordered was working out Teresa because I, I always like the brunette dolls. I always like um, Teresa dolls. So I knew that I wanted her. And then after I got her uh, or ordered her, I was looking at the pictures and I was like, you know what? I want all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> I want Barbie, I want Christy, and I want Teresa. Um, so I ordered Teresa. I went back to order the other two. I ordered a Barbie and I got like a really good deal on her. And you'll see why when I show you the close up. Um, but anyway, I got a really good deal on the Barbie. I got a good deal on Teresa. So no complaints there. I got a really good, exceptional deal on Barbie, being that she's in the box. Um, and the African American Barbie version of this line is always going to be the most expensive online. And she was just a, a little more expensive than I wanted to pay at the time that I was shopping for these dolls. So it's kind of a similar situation for when I got the cut and style Barbies from the 90s. Um, same thing. There's like, there's always one version. It's always the brunette usually that, or the African-American, because I got the brunette here, but um, the brunette or the African-American one that is the hardest to find or the most expensive. So I don't have Christy yet. I would like to get her eventually to complete this set. Um, but I will eventually do a uh, unboxing and a review for all well all of the dolls obviously in here but for these um i will do that the way i did my um my cut and style barbies but um so this is the reason i got a really good deal on the barbie is because the box is absolutely crushed so <laughs> and her face is flat uh it's it's squished in um it's unfortunate but I'm going to try and work with it because I have a feeling I'll be able to fix it um, because vinyl remembers its shape. And what probably happened is this was probably stacked like this or whatever like this. And it was the thing that was up against it was probably more narrow than the box and something more heavy got put on top and um, squished it down. And it was probably during like a warm time of the year. And then it cooled down and it just held that shape. Um, I believe with this kind of vinyl, if you do a boil wash or just put the head in really warm or hot water, 
the vinyl softens up and kind of goes back to its original shape. So I'm hoping I can salvage this, this doll's face and her head um, because she looks kind of weird like that and it's unfortunate because she is really pretty. But if I can fix that, I'll be really happy. Um, I don't know if the hair is saran or if it is nylon yet or Kanekalon, I mean, they don't use uh, nylon. Uh, the Barbies in the 90s either used saran or Kanekalon usually, usually. And this looks like it's saran, but I won't know until I get the doll open. And um, if it is Kanekalon, uh, she's going to come out with some super straight hair if I use the hot water. But if it is saran, she might retain the curl at the bottom of her hair. I'm not sure. Anyway, when I do open this, I will do that trying to fix her face in that same video. So look forward to that. Okay, so that is it for like the eBay dolls and everything. The rest of this stuff is, um, you know, like new in box or newer dolls. So uh, where do I show? Well, let's start with the My Little Pony since we're kind of like in that part of the video anyway. So I did get this. This is the G Generation 5 um, My Little Pony collection. So I wanted to get each of the main characters in pony form. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be collecting G5 for My Little Pony. I'll just be completely honest because they're just, I don't have a connection with them at all. Um, they, are, they are aimed at a much younger demographic than I am. And I don't know, just in general, they are not really my vibe. Um, when it comes to this pony, generation the they're a lot they're meant for like younger kids that have short attention spans um i was really into g4 because it had such a strong storyline and the cartoon was phenomenal it was actually like enjoyable watchable and there has been no my little pony cartoons before it that were enough substance to hold my attention like it had a really good story and a really good quality animation style so i was really into it because of that and then the ponies were super cute like i really liked the design that they went with um this one i'm not sure how i feel about this new design of these ponies and i don't really like i said i don't have a connection with any of the cartoons or the movie or the characters or anything they're just not my vibe um i, I guess i wasn't ready to let go of generation four i don't know um and there they're nowhere near, like they're not even in the realm of what I feel for the retro G1 and G3 My Little Ponies. Like those are the kind of ponies I like. I like their design and everything, but they're cute. I don't hate them. Um, so I did want to have some. So I got this set f of them. So I, I was able to get one of each of the characters and I figured, you know what, this will be better than like trying to collect them all. Plus it was a lot less expensive to get them in a set like this rather than individually. So look forward to this video. It will be coming out sometime in this upcoming year. We're almost at New Year's here, but there is that. Okay, so next up, um, let me show you. This. this is another one that I bought myself. Um, I got this on clearance once again for $5, but it is a Barbie Extra Mini, and I don't have any of these yet, but I got this one. Um, I mainly got this one because I wanted to see what they were like, but I think I want to customize this one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to collect this line of the Barbie Extra Minis um, because their style isn't really my style. They're not uh, like when it comes to the Barbie Extra line in general, I'm very like hit or miss anyway. Um, but for the Barbie Extra Minis, I like their proportions because like they look more cartoony and more like, you know, ever after higher monster high kind of in that shape. Uh, or that scale except much shorter and they're fully articulated and I've heard nothing but good things from people that are reviewing them. Um, I just don't know if they're necessarily my style, especially this one is not really my style. Um, I literally got this one with the intent of um, customizing her. I do like to call this one the Jenna Marbles uh, Barbie, because I think she kind of, even though I don't think Jenna Marbles ever had a shaved side of the head, but like her style with the sweats and the beanie and like the purple lipstick and stuff, it just reminds me of Jenna Marbles so much. Like she needs some little miniature greyhounds and, and now big greyhounds as well in there and a little Marbles Chihuahua. 
<laughs> Maybe I'll turn this one into Jenna Marbles. No, I don't think I'm actually going to go through that process. But um, but yeah, it just it re she reminded me of Jenna Marbles. So I thought that that was actually kind of cute. Um, but anyway, so there's that. Sticking with Barbie, I only got one more Barbie for this haul. But I got the Barbie Rewind, the shopping girl. What was this one even called? Sophisticated Style. That's what she's called. So this is the one um, is called Sophisticated Style. This is the girl that is like shopping at the mall. Um, I do have all of the Barbie Rewind dolls up to this point and um, I, I have her as well. So this is from the second wave where it was just these two characters that were released. I have her and I went to buy her at the same time, but she was actually sold out so I couldn't buy her. So I was actually really excited that I got this for Christmas. Like. I'm so happy. <laughs> I love Barbie, the Barbie Rewind collection. They have two new ones that are coming out. One's like a sleepover girl, and the other one is like going to the movie theaters girl. Um, I, I don't know what they're called yet, but um, I am so excited. I'm so happy that they're continuing this line, and um, they're still doing 80s. They haven't branched out to 90s yet, but I'm okay with that because all the styles are kind of like that late 80s, early 90s anyway, uh, and that's like literally my childhood. So everything that was happening in that time, pop culture wise, is uh, my, my very early childhood. I was born in the 80s. But um, anyway, yeah, um, I'm, I'm loving this line so much and I'm so happy that I got her. Um, I already peeked and she looks really good. She's so cute. So the one thing is, I don't know if this is actually supposed to be Christy specifically. Um, I, I, I'm not 100% fam familiar with all the names of the face molds, but I think that this is Christy. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if that's not correct. But um, anyway, that's a sneak peek of this. Uh, like I said, I will be doing reviews and unboxings for all of these dolls in separate videos throughout this upcoming year. <laughs> Next up, I got a Little Mermaid doll, and this is from Hasbro. Now, I bought this one for myself. Um, it is not so much, I mean, I, I love Ariel. I love Little Mermaid dolls. I haven't been the biggest fan of the Hasbro dolls um, because they're, you know, they're budget. They're not collector dolls. Um, the I think that the ones that are collector dolls are the ones that are, that are released from the Disney store. But the Hasbro ones, you know, they have their moments. <laughs> I actually really like this doll. I think that she's really cute. The main reason I did get her though is because the Mattel version of the Disney dolls are coming out this upcoming year in 2023. So, and when when I saw the lineup, like the, uh, what do they call it? The promotional images, like the promo images for the Mattel versions of the Disney princess dolls, they are doing this exact same doll, Mattel is. So since Mattel is going to be making the same doll, I wanted to get this doll and from Hasbro. And then when the Mattel one comes out, I'm going to get that one as well. And I'm going to do a versus video. So I won't be unboxing this one for a while. Um, but here you can take a look at it now to hold you over <laughs> until that video comes out. Um, but it comes with the doll in her mermaid form, which I like. Uh, and then it comes with her pink dress, which is okay. It's a cute little princess dress, but it's very much a budget princess dress. Uh, it comes with shoes and a little crown and everything. I think I like her mermaid outfit a little bit better. Um, here is the back of the box and you can see her in both of her outfits. It's a really cute doll. Um, I just don't like her face mold. I think that's the main holdup that I have. Um, and they have, they only have like the same articulation as like a Barbie fashionista, which is like very limited, just the normal five points of articulation. Um, so because of that limited articulation and a face mold and face screening that I'm not a huge fan of, that's why I don't care for the Hasbro versions of the dolls as much. So I want to see if Mattel does any better. So that's why I'm going to do a versus video and I'm going to like put them toe to toe and see who did it, who done it better. Is it going to be uh, Mattel or Hasbro that's coming out on top? Like should um, Hasbro have kept the license or is it a good thing that Mattel has it back again, even though they're doing the same level of quality, but I'll talk about that in that video. <laughs> Um, all right, so next up are a couple more dolls that I got for myself because they were on such a low clearance. Um, they were no, oh, and it, that that Ariel doll I got on Black Friday, so I actually got it um, for like half off or not completely half off, but much less expensive than its retail price. I think it retailed at twenty dollars, maybe like nineteen ninety nine, um, but I got it for much lower. Um, anyway. 
Next up, these are some dolls that I also got for um, less than $10. I think I got one of them for $7 and uh, one of them for $6. So um, anyway, I've got a couple Mermaid High dolls. So this one is, who is this? This is uh, Mari. Their name is right here. So anyway, so I've got Mari, who is the purple hair one who kind of has a little bit more of like a gothic or alternative kind of aesthetic to her. And um, the next one that I got is the blonde one. What's her name? Finley. So I've got Finley as well. She is the blondie one who has kind of like the boho chic kind of style to her. Now, I'll be completely honest. I do have a Mermaid High doll, and I did a review for her, uh, and it was for Oceana, for this one. So I have a video for this on my channel already. I was not super impressed by Mermaid High. Like, the just the quality, the articulation is there, but not at the same time. And the hair fiber, they used a polypropylene, at least on that doll. Um, and there's certain aspects that I didn't care for. There are certain aspects I did care for, like they have decent clothing pieces that are actually a decent quality. Uh, so they have some redeeming qualities, but their faces are just not my favorite. Um, I don't, I don't know what it is. I mean, like, I love the artwork. You look at the artwork and their faces look so pretty. But then like you look at, uh, what was her name, Mari? Oh yeah, it's like Mari, like Calamari. Okay, anyway. Um, but you look like look at Mari's face right there and then you look at the doll. And I mean, to be honest, I, I ordered these on Amazon and I got a, a good one. I was really lucky, uh, good screening and everything. But the face mold itself, uh, is not my favorite. So it's just, I don't know, like there's something about it that's a little off-putting. Like the the artwork looks cute and kind of looks like a teenager, but then the doll itself looks older <laughs> just because of the face molding. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it or what my issue is. Um, the main reason I got these is because they were $6 and $7 and I figured I would pay $10 for a Barbie fashion pack and their outfits, their clothing fits Monster High dolls, the, the G3 newer Monster High dolls. So really I got these for their outfits, but I will still be doing reviews for the for the dolls themselves. And who knows, I might like these dolls better than I liked Oceana. Um, I don't know if that's gonna change because I'm pretty sure they're all just gonna be the same quality, but you know, it, I'll give them a chance at least. And if nothing else, like I said, the reason I got them was for their outfits anyway. And I just realized I've been doing this whole video without having my computer screens on. Usually I have them on with a white screen to create more light here. So hopefully the rest of this video will be better lit. <laughs> And I, you know, I'm already more than halfway through it. Anyway, all right, let's go on. So, okay, I'm actually really, really, really excited for these next ones. So I have fallen in love with Nana Na Surprise. I've mentioned it in my Nana Na Surprise videos. I don't collect all of them. I, I love that it's it's a line that I don't feel like I have to be a completionist. I just get the ones that I like their style for, but uh, you can actually kind of see it back here. I've got, um, oh, that's my little MGA shelf down there, but behind the brats, I've got my, my Nana Na Surprise dolls uh, lined up back there. I love them. They are so cute. And they, this year they came out with some really cute ones and they came out just in time for winter and I got a couple and I'm so excited. These are the um, the winter, the cozy series. Cozy series one. Um, these are winter themed dolls. I do know which ones I got because they have little um, icons on them. They have little uh, um, stickers that have like the, the thing. So if you're at the store and you see them because they are in a surprise box or a blind box, um, you still have a way to know which one you're getting. You can pick one up at random if you want a surprise, but if you don't want duplicates, you just look at the little sticker and it'll tell you. So I do know which characters I've got, um, but I'm not going to mention that. I'm going to do a separate video with these. They did kind of go back to the blind style packaging, which I have mixed emotions about because um, it's a lot more plastic and a lot more waste in this type of packaging. 
and I feel really, really bad, but I love this packaging at the same time. It is so much fun to open. Um, it's got an ASMR element for me anyway, <laughs> you know, and it just, it's, yeah, I really, really like this packaging. So anyway, um, so these are all the characters that you can possibly get. They are all um, based off of like winter animals. So there's a penguin, a seal, a, um, a polar bear, a snow leopard, and a reindeer. And I've got two of them, but honestly, I want all of them. Like, I maybe not the snow leopard. She's not completely much. Not even the snow leopard. I don't know. I, I want all of them. Uh, oh, there's a snow owl. What did I say? Oh, yeah, there's a penguin. I don't care for the penguin girl as much. I love that she has purple hair. That's her up there. Um, but I don't, I don't need the penguin girl. As much as I love this, I don't buy it for the little pouches they come with. Um, so, like, I love this. It's so cute. But honestly, like, I'm just not a fan of her outfit. So I'm probably not going to get her. And I'm probably not going to get the snow leopard just because her style is like... Eh, it's okay. It's cute. I, if I got them as gifts, then I'd be fine with that. Um, but I don't need those two. The other four, however, I absolutely want the polar bear, the um, seal, the snow owl, and the reindeer. Uh, there's not been a non -na surprise boy that I've wanted before because I didn't care for their style. I have to have this reindeer. Like, he is adorable adorable. I have to have him. But anyway, like I said, I want all of them. <laughs> if I'm being honest, this is the first set that I want all of them. Um, they did also come out with a like gemstone set where all of the different girls or characters are, you know, there's different colors and each one is a different gemstone. I don't know if those, I think those have also come out, but I wasn't lucky enough to get them this year for Christmas and I haven't bought any for myself just yet. So, um, but eventually I would like to get the gemstone ones as well. But the, the ones I was more excited about were the uh, these ones, the, the cozy ones. Sticking in the realm of the Nanana -na -na Surprise, I am so excited because they have minis now. They have minis. So this is the size of a normal Nanana -na -na Surprise case. Here is the mini one. And I would say these are normally $20, roughly, depending on where you get them. Some are less, some are like more, like $17, and some are like $25, depending on which series you're talking about. Um, I don't know how much these were. But um, anyway, so this is the, the size for this. These are the minis. And you can see they're going to be much smaller and they're only $10. They're $9.99. And um, I saw somebody, who was it? I don't remember who it was on Instagram, but I saw in their story that they got some of these and I freaked out because I've been waiting for them to come out. I saw on the, in the official Na 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 Surprise Instagram page that they were coming out with these and I was immediately obsessed uh, because they're basically like the LOL Tots except a little bit taller and they're Na 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 Surprise and I love the style of Na 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 Surprise so much more. So here is the box. Um, I did go to Walmart because that's where I was told that they were at and I, they had them at my local Walmart. I didn't have to search around for them. They were in the doll aisle in one of those cardboard freestanding things and they were fully stocked. I grabbed two of them. I don't have any of them, but I want to get all of them. It, this is one of those where I might be a completionist. There's like a couple that I, I could do without. Um, like I don't necessarily need the boy, the two boys in this one and there's like one or two of the girl characters that like if I didn't get I wouldn't be upset by but um, I kind of want all of them because I'm kind of obsessed so I literally just grabbed the first two uh, I know one of them is an ice uh, 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 snowflake so I have an idea of who she is I'm pretty sure that the snowflake one is this little bunny girl here because um, if I remember she's like a snow bunny um, I could be wrong because it could be one of these other girls that are kind of bundled up in a sweater. Which one? Oh, and there's also a fox girl that has a stole. I don't know. It could be one of them, but I'm pretty sure it's the snow bunny. Um, and then I got this one, which is a circle. I don't know which one it is, um, but eventually I'm going to, I, I would like to get all of them. So it did, that's why it didn't really matter. I just wanted to grab two and um, go. I really want the, uh, you know, I really want the three on the, I want all of them, but I was like, I really want the three on the front because I really want that unicorn girl too. I love the teddy bear ones. Like those are always my favorite. Like no doubt, I definitely want her. But um, this unicorn girl is really cute. I kind of, kind of hope I get the unicorn girl. I don't know. Like I said, 
said, I'm eventually going to get all of them probably, or at least all the ones that I want from this line. Um, after I open them, we'll see if I like them or what the quality is like, and it, even if they are the type of doll that I'm going to want. Um, but I have a feeling I'm going to be obsessed with these minis. So even more than I'm already obsessed with the <laughs> regular None of the Surprise dolls. All right, we've, we have fully entered the MGA portion of this video, because, you know, starting off with the Nanana Surprise and the minis. Um, now let's move on here. So this is another doll that I got from That's Cheap, along with that Articuno. Um, I got, what is it, um, Misdirect. <laughs> so this is from the OMG Movie Magic line, and surprisingly, this is not a doll that I anticipated getting for myself. Not at full price. Like, I like her because she has two really cool looks. Like, this look is really cool. Like, it's kind of... 1940s inspired like it's all black and white and it's got a cape and then you've got this one which is like comic book superhero and it's all purple like i love that i think that is so cool um i've been looking at the omg dolls because a lot of the omg dolls fit the g3 draculaura um and once again i got this because i figured the outfits could potentially fit some of my G3 Monster High dolls. So I'm just kind of, when I find a really, really good price, um, I just think of it as, you know, I'm buying a fashion pack. And then if the if I don't care for the doll itself, um, I can always donate it or something, you know. But um, when it comes to the outfits, I kind of, some of these outfit pieces I really like, like this black and white skirt. Um, I'm really interested in trying that on some of my Monster High dolls and the cape. Uh, I don't know. So we'll end up seeing here. Um, I really would like to get this girl right here. What's her name? Gamma Babe. I think Gamma Babe is really cool. But then again, I like the dolls with the purple hair anyway. Um, and she has the <laughs> she has pigtails. All my OMG dolls have pigtails. <laughs> um, anyway. But yeah, so I got her for only $5 at That's Cheap. And I think these are some of those dolls that were like $36 maybe when they came out. I could be wrong about that, but I think that was their retail price. So to get her for only $5, I was like, yeah, I can't pass that up. Like even if the clothes doesn't fit on the G3 Monster High dolls, um, that's a chance I'm willing to take for only $5. So once again, I had to like restrain myself from yelling out in the store, that's cheap. <laughs> Next up from MGA is a couple dolls from a line I haven't actually touched yet. <laughs> These are new for me for the doll line and I mean the dolls themselves obviously but um, I, I haven't done any reviews or gotten any of these before but I got some Mermaids Mermaids and these are from the Winter series or the Winter Waves series and um, I let's see here I don't know any of their names. Um, what is this one's name? Nira. Okay, so this one is Nira, and there's a huge glare on the <laughs> box there. Sorry about that. But anyway, so I've got this one. Um, they all have a color change element in either warm or cold water. I think this one is warm water, um, and it just does half of her tail, but uh, because it's cold in my room, it's just fully blue, her tail is. Um, but anyway, yeah, and like I said, I'm going to be doing unboxings and reviews for all these dolls. None of them are going to be staying in the box. <laughs> so over the next several weeks, you'll be seeing all these reviews coming out. But anyway, so I did get some Mermaids Mermaids. Now, I was not super impressed with the first wave uh, and when I say that like I don't mean that in like an offensive or like a, I didn't like the line way I never none of them spoke to me <laughs> you know none of them like grabbed my attention enough for me to want to buy them so I never got them and uh the ones that I kind of I was like on the fence about but it's just like they're more expensive dolls you know they're like 30 something 35 dollar dolls or 30 dollar dolls um or something maybe maybe the original wave was a little cheaper I think the um the winter ones were a little more expensive these ones were the 30 dollars or 35 dollars retail and the uh, original ones I think were like 25 dollars I could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. Anyway, for the first line, I just didn't care for the style for any of the dolls. Um, I think the one that I did like was Kashiko, but um, I saw a review and her hair is a nasty fiber. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's like this weird cotton candy texture, like this frizzy, like dry feeling fa fiber. It's not soft. It's not like Saran. Um, it's not even like polypropylene. I don't know what it is. Um, and I haven't seen it in person. Person, but just it I don't know I don't like it I, I I'm all for like having diversity when it comes to hair textures and stuff like that but the particular 
fiber that they decided to use didn't seem like a good fiber for doll hair. I don't know. I could be wrong. I, I just, whatever. I didn't like the doll's aesthetic, like her outfit and everything, enough for me to justify buying that doll, knowing I wasn't going to be a huge fan of the hair. So I didn't end up getting it. Um, but for these dolls, the Winter Waves, I love them. I love the designs for all of them. Um, like the other three, I'm probably not going to end up getting. I don't know if I fall in love with these dolls, I might eventually get them if I get them on clearance or something, but I don't really need them. Um, this is another line where I don't need to be a completionist. I can just get the dolls that I like. And it was just these two. So I've got this one, which is Nira. What, is that her name? Yeah. N Nera, Nira. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but anyway, this is the first one that I got. And then this is the second one. And this is Kashiko. Yes, Kashiko. So this is the, um, a character that was brought back like she was in the first wave that was the one I was talking about that I um liked the way she looked but I didn't like her hair fiber so I didn't buy her this one I had to have if I didn't get Nira if I didn't get any of them it, I was going to be getting this one regardless because she is stunning I love the style of her outfit I love that she's all pastel I love her hair there's a glare here hold on let me just show you the pictures <laughs> There's a glare there, but it's not as bad. Anyway, I, I don't know what it is about her design, but she is so pretty. I really, really like this doll. And I think it's just like a combination of the way her hair is styled, because very Ariana Grande. Um, her face is pretty, but also I love the fact that she's wearing a hoodie. Like this light blue hoodie thing. I like the style. Her style is very much like my vibe. They come with like a jacket as well. I don't know if I'm going to put her in her jacket or not, uh, but that's what they're, they're all wearing their jackets on the, uh, photo on the back of the box so you can kind of see what they look like wearing it but um anyway the other thing is her tail because some of them have weird tails like i kind of like this is this harmonique i don't i don't remember what her name is but she was the one that had the really long ariana grande ponytail in the first wave um and now she's a little i i wouldn't mind getting her also i do actually really like her but like their tails are all like ice or like winter stuff and i love that it's more natural i think for like a um the original ones like one of them the tail was a tracksuit, and i didn't like that the other one was like the tail was a guitar and it's like it's a cool concept but i feel like mermaids tails should be organic like it should be whimsical not i don't know anyway um so because of that that's part of the reason why i didn't care for that whole first line but these ones it all looks like some kind of nature or something or you know like whatever they're like ice crystals or something like that i don't know what this is this almost like reminds me of like big feathers <laughs> like you know um that they'd use in old hollywood films or something like that uh i don't know what her tail is supposed to be but it almost also looks like a clamshell. So it just, it looks much more appropriate for a mermaid tail than the, the first wave did. But anyway, so those are two dolls, the two mermaids dolls that I got. Next up, I got a Shadow High doll, and I'm actually really excited for this. I only have one other Shadow High doll already, and it's Heather Grayson. She's my absolute favorite Shadow High doll, and one of my favorite, uh, dolls in between Shadow High and Rainbow High. She's one of my favorite complete like her and um lily chang are my two favorite rainbow high slash shadow high dolls ever but when it comes to shadow high this was the other doll that i knew that i wanted to get so i got chanel and like she was one that i had my eye on from the beginning as well i just when it comes to rainbow high and shadow high dolls there's so many of them um and it's like I can't afford to get all of them, especially not at retail. So I had to wait for like a good price. And I finally got her on a really good price. In fact, I think I just checked earlier today and it's still at that price, but she was like $10 on Amazon. So um, I bought her from Amazon for like $9 or $10 or something like that. Um, so I was like, perfect. I'm not going to pass this up. I normally try not to buy that much stuff for myself during this time of year because I know I'm going to be getting gifts. Luckily, I didn't get any duplicates or anything like that, um, but I wasn't going to pass up that price. And I figured, you know, like if I get one as a gift, I could always return her and get my money back. But um, I'm, I didn't want to pass it up just in case if I didn't get her. Um, so I did end up buying her and I'm so happy. And um, I'm really excited because her face looks really good. And I didn't find any like major defects except for the little rivets on her second outfit you can see there's like a black spot there's one missing right there so I'm a little bummed out about that because I do like her second outfit a lot but 
I do have some nail art um, metal rivets or whatever these are called. I do have some of those for nail art that I bought for doing like doll customs, uh, which side note, nail art things, like you can get a bunch of nail art things on Amazon. Um, they're in miniature, miniature, miniature scale because they're for your fingernails. It's perfect for doll customs. So just pro tip. <laughs> anyway, I have like a case of these in different shapes. So I'm hoping I have like a little oval or something that's the right size in silver. And if I do, I'm just gonna glue one on and replace place it. So hopefully I can do that. Hopefully I can salvage it. I shouldn't have to do that, but my main focus was the doll and I got her for like $9. So I am not, or $9 and some change. But anyway, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I got a really good price. The doll is really pretty. I'm okay with it. All right, we're coming up to the last few dolls here, um, but these are some of the ones I'm most excited about. So, <laughs> so next up, I have a Bratz doll. Um, these just came out recently, like within the last month or two, maybe. Maybe they've been on the shelf a little longer, but I only just saw them this month in December. But we've got a, the girls' night out reproduction dolls are out. Uh, this is for the 21st birthday edition, uh, 21st anniversary. Get, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's for the, t the 21st anniversary. Uh, mine, the, the box is broken, but whatever. That's okay. I'm going to take her out of the box anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah, I got Yasmin. And there's two specifically that I, I have to have from this line. One is Yasmin, and I've got her. The other one is Dana. Now, I've never been a huge Bratz collector, but let me just show you the rest of this uh, while I'm talking about it. But anyway, here's the back of the box. Um, I've never been a huge Bratz collector. Like when they first came out, I thought that they were weird because their feet came off. <laughs> they didn't have feet and I didn't like that. Um, but anyway, so I never really got into Bratz until like maybe like 2007-ish, around that time, 2006. I don't know, around that time, I found my very first a doll, a Bratz doll that I thought was so pretty I couldn't pass her up. And she was in the clearance section of like Walmart or something. And it was a Head Games Dana. And if you don't know what Head Games is, that is the, the line of Bratz dolls where you could switch their heads. You could pop their head off and have another one. So that way you didn't have to try and change the clothing on the outfits. And it's the same character. It's just changing their hairstyle and their makeup, basically. Um, this was like a budget version of the girls night out Dana. She had the same dress except minus the little butterflies or flowers or whatever they are. Um, and she had a more simple, simple hairstyle. So she was less expensive, but she was in the clearance section and I bought her and that was my favorite Bratz doll ever because she has a, she's, um, a brunette doll with, um, fair-ish skin and purple eyes and I thought she was so pretty and she was my favorite Bratz doll that and then there is another Chloe doll I, I have to figure out what line it was from she was another budget one so she shouldn't be hard to find but now that Dana doll is so expensive on eBay so hard to find um, but when they came out with this uh, girls night out line that Dana is in the line the girls night out Dana anyway so it's a more fancy version of the Dana that I had and she's so pretty and I really want to get her because the nostalgia She's like my favorite Bratz doll and I really want to get her. So since she came out, um, I haven't seen her on the shelf though, but I did see this Yasmin. Uh, I love the brunette dolls. So of course I wanted to get Yasmin as well. And she's in purple. I love it. And her outfits, she's my two favorite colors. She has the, the like lavender purple and this like turquoise color for her second outfit and everything. I love Yasmin and she's got a high ponytail. What's not to love? Um, and she's so pretty and they were everywhere. Yasmin was like the most popular one at all the Target stores near me. I went to a few different Target stores just because I wanted to get one with a really good screening and everything. And um, they each store I went to had a minimum of two Yasmins and then like one other character. One store had a Sasha, one store had a Chloe and one store had a Jade. Um, but I didn't want those ones. I wanted Dana and none of them had Dana. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to have to order her online. She's sold out right now, but eventually I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I will eventually be able to get the girls night out Dana. All right, this video is a lot longer than I expected it to be. <laughs> so I, I do apologize, but we are coming up to the end now. Um, these are the last two dolls and I am so excited for these ones in particular. Okay, so I have been collecting the 
Disney Store limited edition designer dolls this past year of the um, Ultimate Princess collection. I think the only ones I don't have uh, or that I didn't end up getting was the Cinderella, which I'm kind of sad about because I did like her, but I didn't have to have her. Um, I would have liked to get her, but um, I didn't find her at Disneyland. I was buying them at Disneyland because I was getting a discount. Um, and that's why I wasn't paying full price for any of them. And I never found Cinderella at Disneyland, so I couldn't get her with a discounted price. Uh, and then the other one was Rapunzel, which I had a chance to get her, but I didn't like her. <laughs> I didn't like, I liked the doll, but I didn't like her dress. And I was like, I'm not going to spend over $100 on a doll if I don't like the doll. So plus I have two other limited edition Rapunzel dolls. So it, it is what it is. I was fine with it. Um, anyway, Black Friday came around and the Disney store had a sale for, Bla for Black Friday and they included the, these collector dolls. So I am so excited. I got Belle. <laughs> and I think this is one of my favorites, like right up there with Merida um, from this collection. I really like this Belle doll from this collection. Look at her. Okay, hold on. I can't see what I'm showing you. Okay, here we go. So there's a glare and I do apologize. But anyway, so here is the Belle doll. She is so pretty and she has such a cool dress with the roses. It's like a paying homage to her red dress that she wears in the film. Oh, and like, and the, the fact that there's a rose in the film and like, I just, I love it. I love the design of this. This is one of the more cohesive, um, designs from this entire collection. Like I said, other than Merida, I think Merida was like, excellent um and then but this doll is also excellent i love the design some of the dolls have been like kind of questionable and they don't even really look like themselves but um this is one that i absolutely love like look at the flower petals at the bottom of her dress anyway i will be doing a separate video for um each of these dolls i'm trying to decide if i want to continue my series where I compare three Disney dolls at different price points, or if I just want to do a, um, normal review for the rest of these because I've done like three or four of them. Like I have Jasmine, Pocahontas and Ariel, I believe. Um, did I do any? I didn't do any others. So just those three. I have three on my channel right now where I'm comparing the $8 version of the doll, which is the Hasbro one, and then the $20 version of the doll, which is the Disney Store Classic Playline doll, and then the $130 doll, which are these ones. Um, so I do all three in the video. It's just those videos are like a little longer to make because I have to get them out and film the different parts and then editing is, you know, putting pieces together and stuff like that. Um, I can do it, but sometimes it's just easier if I just review one doll <laughs> in a video. So let let me know in the comments for the Disney limited edition dolls. Do you want me to continue to do the um, comparison of the three different dolls in one video for the Disney dolls? Or do you just want me to go back to doing a normal doll review for these? Because I don't fully take them out of the box, but I am able to take off that dust cover so there's no plastic and you can see the doll clearly. Um, so I can still do a regular doll review for these, but like I said, let me know if you would rather see the comparison of the three different price points for those dolls. Um, and that brings me to the last doll for this haul. Um, for my Christmas haul, this is a doll I'm really happy to be ending on. I think this is a great note to end on. But from the same collection, I got the new Ariel. So in this line, they did an aerial towards the beginning. She was like the third release, I think, because um, they did one for each month. And it, she was like month three or whatever, because it was Jasmine and then Pocahontas and then Ariel. Uh, and when everybody saw that Ariel doll, everybody was like, what is going on? Here's a picture of it, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's like everybody was just they looked at it and they're like, what? It, she she looks so strange. It was different. People weren't expecting it. So it you know, she got criticism. It is what it is. Uh, but anyway, I thought it was a really cool doll and I did get her and I love her. In fact, I got two of her because I got her at a discount um, and I got a second one and I figured I can have one in box, one out of box. And um, I kind of want to customize her or do something that's going to be a completely separate video. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about it yet because I kind of want it to be a surprise later on. But um, later on, they came out with like they announced that they were going to be doing 
a second round of some of the characters. So instead of getting, for the last three dolls in the line, instead of doing new characters that they haven't already done, they were doing a second doll for Ariel, a second doll for Tiana, and a second doll for Aurora for some reason. And I don't know if there was another one, if there was four duplicates or if it was just those three. Anyway, the one for Aurora looks so gorgeous as a doll. Um, it's just uh, the dress is a little, it's an, once again, an interesting design. Um, the one for Tiana looks absolutely stunning and I do want to get her eventually. Um, the one for Aurora, I kind of like the first one that they came out with, with the pink and blue and the stained glass things on the side of her skirt. And I already have that one. So I don't think I'm going to get the second Aurora one, even though she's so pretty and I would love to have her. Um, I think I'm fine with the one that I ended up getting. But for the Tiana one, I definitely, I got the first Tiana. I definitely want that second Tiana because it looks stunning. And um, I have the first Ariel. There was no way I was going to be passing up this Ariel um, because let me, sh I've talked about her enough. Let me show her to you now. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so this is the Ariel. <laughs> so, okay, once again, I got to get up here. But anyway, so this is her. She is so pretty. It uses the newer face mold. The other Ariel uses the, the older, like, uh, limited edition Ariel doll face mold. This one is the newer Playline one, which I love so much more. Her dress is purple with an ombre that fades down to blue, like it's coming out of the water. Very much inspired by that dress that she wears at the very end of the movie, which is kind of like a periwinkle blue, like a kind of purplish blue. Um, this is way more purple than that. And it's got like a lot of like designs on it that are like water and stuff. I love it. I love this doll so much. Um, yeah, there's, there was no way that I was going to pass her up. I think she is so pretty. And her background is different. It's like the ocean. The original one had the castle in the background. But yeah, she has this really cute purse and everything. I don't know. I'm going to do a whole review on her regardless of whether it's comparing the three dolls. Actually, for her, since I've already done that, I might just do a normal doll review for this doll um, because I've already done the comparing three price points for Ariel uh, in the other video for the other doll. So uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to do uh, it, it, her own video for this one. But I love this doll so much. Like if, if it was between the two, I think I would have only got this one. That's not true. I probably still would have gotten the... <laughs> I love Ariel and I love the Ariel dolls. So I probably still would have gotten the other one, but I definitely like this one. I want to say I like this one more because of the overall design. There are aspects that I love from that other doll, but I like this. I love this one so much more overall. So yeah, I'm so excited <laughs> to have this doll. Um, and the timing for getting these dolls could not have been better. Um, but I'm so happy to have those dolls. So that's actually pretty much it when it comes to what I got for Christmas this year. Like I said, there are some things that I didn't show, but they're like a lot of smaller things. Um, and I, I didn't know if they would be like super interesting for a haul video, especially since most of you are here to specifically see the dolls anyway. So I didn't want to go over too much stuff. I just wanted to kind of, you know, go over some of the, the, the bigger items and then like get into the dolls. So that is that. But I am so happy with my haul. Like I, <laughs> between everything I got for Christmas and like the, the things that I did end up buying for myself and I see things starting to pile up after Christmas, I am looking at, I looked at <laughs> this pile and I'm like, wow, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff this year. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with it. And of course there, there's like a couple things that I, would have liked to like I was hoping to get for Christmas that I didn't end up getting but that's totally fine like I got so much and I am so fortunate to get the things that I did end up getting so like I'm not complaining at all plus I did get a couple gift cards so that will allow me to go out and get those couple things that I didn't get so um yeah <laughs> now I am going to be doing one other video this week but I think it's gonna be my New Year's Eve video so I'm you know gonna be uploading the video Video on New Year's Eve which is Saturday so that'll probably be when the next video is and then starting next week I'll probably be going back to my normal upload schedule but I did want to mention that one of my New Year's resolutions is to kind of switch up the content on my channel a little bit and when I say switch up I don't mean I want to change
change the content. I just want to kind of like add to it. <laughs> so of course I'm going to be doing doll reviews because I've got all these new dolls that I have to unbox. I'm going to spread these out over the, the next several months. Um, I'm not going to do them all at once necessarily, but I do have a lot of dolls that I have accumulated from thrift stores and from flea markets and stuff like that. Um, that I have been meaning to clean up and like restore or do like I have the Amanita Nightshade video that I did where I got a thrift store doll that was like completely naked and her hair was messed up and she was dirty and then I cleaned her up and then fixed her hair and then got her outfit and stuff and like gave her a whole makeover. I want to do more videos like that. I enjoyed that so much and I've been itching to get back into like the doll makeover like not a full-on custom necessarily like I may not be doing a, a face up or something or I might just be fixing the hair rather than rerouting it or whatever but I have several dolls that are incomplete that I want to clean up and make complete to add to my collection so I would like to do more of those kind of videos I also want to do more custom doll videos the thing is doll makeovers and custom doll videos take a lot more time and effort um, especially when it comes to the editing process and because of that um, I don't know if I'll be able to continue on my current upload schedule just because I work a full-time job. I do work 40 hours a week and then I have like, I have to balance like family and friends stuff um, just for my own sanity. <laughs> but then also having YouTube as a hobby, you know, it, it's something I enjoy immensely, but it does take time and it does take energy and effort and stuff like that. Um, and whenever you film something, it takes two to three times longer to do it, including the editing process. So I would like to do that, but there may be some weeks where I only have one video instead of two videos uh, and stuff like that. Um, I do also want to do more stuff that's not doll related. Like I would love to do some more challenge videos. Like when I did the Bean Boozled challenge with my mom, Samantha and Ed, that was so much fun. I loved that so much and I want to do more of that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know yet what I'm going to do or what this year, this upcoming year holds for me, but I'm really excited for it and I really want to do more of that stuff and maybe even more vlogs. Like I don't always have to do doll reviews and stuff like that. I would like to do more vlogs if that's something that you guys are even interested in watching. <laughs> you know, if you want to hear about my life, you know, it's like YouTube is an outlet for me and I kind of do vlog style in reviews anyway. Um, so like when I review something, I talk about my life and I talk about other stuff, not just dolls. So like, yeah, I don't know, it just kind of gives me a little bit of an outlet. But let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in or if uh, you have any specific suggestions that you would like to see. Like if there's any things that you think that I'd have fun doing or any kind of video that you would enjoy watching um, let me know because it'll give me some ideas of things that I want to do just because I want to do more with YouTube not necessarily only exclusively doll reviews but like I said I want to do them in uh, in addition to the doll reviews. I don't want to stop doing that. Uh, I just, there's more stuff I would like to do. I'm like really excited, uh, especially since my channel has been gaining a little bit of traction recently. Like I want to continue with that. It's, it's a lot of fun for me. So um, anyway, I think I'm going to get going for right now just because, you know, that was pretty much it for the, the haul itself. And talking about vlogs i could sit here and talk at the camera about literally nothing for hours but i'm not going to do that so um, i'm going to get going for right now keep an eye out for that video on saturday it's going to be my new year's eve video i don't know what what time of the day i'm going to upload it like i might upload it earlier in the day i don't think i'm going to wait until like midnight or whatever um i think i'm going to open it uh, or uh, upload the video earlier in the day uh so that way people can see it before they do their like new year's eve parties and stuff like that um but anyway that's going to be it for right now thank you so much for watching let me know if you like the video by hitting the thumbs up and i hope i see you next time bye if you like this video you can let me know by hitting thumbs up you can check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the links on the screen. I post new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.